Hi, and welcome back to winemastery.co.uk. My name is John Lightfoot. This is... John Murphy. I'm the dummy. This is the expert, although he always denies it, but he does incredibly well uncovering tastes. I just, just, just aspire to. Oh, whatever. But thank you. <laughs> Not <a bit> <laughs> <blushing>. <laughs> so we're here to help you in your journey in discovering a wine, if not the wines that you will absolutely love. And uh, we thought we'd have a go at some Temperino this time, which is the grape that they use for, a lot of it is used for Rioja. Yeah, it uses the base grape of Rioja. A lot of times they use the Tempranillo perhaps mixed with some Grenache, but yeah, Tempranillo is usually always involved in the Rioja. And I think we've, we've, uh, we've gone through that stage where the, in the new world, we were thought, it was, was sort of everyone, well, I've been brought up quite a lot on, on single blends, mm -hmm. uh, rather than sort of the old world, which were very much sort of, Blended, yeah. Um, yeah. So especially France, and you know, the, the, rather than just the single grape. Mm -hmm. And I guess in Spain, in particular, that they they were likewise. They, they used to have, uh, you know, a lot of blending going on. Yeah. And this Temperino though is 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 so it's grown in the north of Spain. I'm not sure if it's actually grown in the same region as. Do you, have you been doing some research? <laughs> Because I'm liking this. Go on, carry on, John. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to stop you. I like I it. I was, I was getting into asking you because not, I'm not sure if it's actually grown in the, in the Rioja region, but it is grown in the north of Spain and so therefore yeah. will have the same climate, if not the same terroir. Terroir? That's close enough. Close enough. Yeah. Close enough. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I, one would expect from it the similar sort of characteristics of um, a Rioja, although obviously I guess some of that taste will come from the barrels, which may be different and will impact differently uh, upon the wine. Are you sure you've not been researching? Because that sounded very good. That sounded really good. Everything you've just said is, is completely correct, and I'm very proud of you, John. Thank you very much. Thank it's you. It's like watching your child grow. Go <laughs> Go the, only, the only thing is, I can't taste anything really. I mean, no, I can't, no, no, no. I'm getting a little bit there, slowly but surely. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Sure, you know, millimeter by millimeter. Uh huh. Uh, taste bud by taste bud. Yeah. I'm, 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 you I'm, are I'm obviously getting definitely there. getting there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, should we have a little look at the color of the temporary? I would love to. Well, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. it's quite bright. It's, it's got a little bit of a brownie tinge, would you say? Tawny. Yeah, yeah, tawny. I would definitely say that, yeah. It's, 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 it's only slight though, isn't it? But it's yeah. there. Yeah. Um, it's like a bit deep, almost like blood. And is that, is that common, sort of that sort of colour for Rioja, would you say, normally? Yeah, well, you, you tend to find that Riocas have got a bit of aging on them, so you need to find the, the wines that have got a bit of aging do tend to have that kind of tawny colour. You yeah. know, it depends on how, how old they are. I believe this is 2015. Okay. So, it's, for, it's still, yeah, it's still a decent bit of time, that, yeah. isn't it? And you can see the bottle on uh, John's right. It's uh, obviously the name is, is very sort of. Um, uh, what's the what's the what's the I should know. What's Ruth, that? Um, the area in the north uh, north of Spain. Uh, bat, uh, bat B begins with B. <laughs> it's not Catalan. Um, it's the Basque 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 separatist. I was thinking ah. of in terms yeah the Basque area. Well done. Um, so it's sort of very sort of Basque sort of name. There's such a word as Basque. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. That's, when you when you start to talk about wine, you can make words up like that. So, so now you've definitely arrived, John. Basque is is now a word. Um, I, I must apologise. I, I naturally just had a little smell, and I was Did going you? to wait for oh, no, it. No, go for it. <sighs> oh. Mm. Now before before I started on this journey with you, if I'd smelt that, I would have thought that was off. Right. Okay. Because actually. If you just smelt that and you were new to wine, that probably wouldn't smell that nice to you. Mm, Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because it's got that sort of musty, sort of yeah. Old, yeah, yeah. old smell. Um, but I guess that it just comes with experience in terms of getting used to that smell and then relating that to your memory buds about wine that you've tasted that's delicious that mm. had that smell to begin with. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is actually, this is one of my f <clears throat> f favorite kind of, all, you know, uh, wines De definitely a uh, favorite grape variety because this is that stereotypical oakiness but as you said that, that mustness does come into it and uh, it, but it's, it's nearly such a very obvious one so, yeah this is the kind of wine that I'd be happy to sit just smelling for a long 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 time the, you can smell just the leather in there which again I always say about the Tempranillo but it just it's just there it almost, it almost warms me it's smelling that almost. I almost feel like 
I could get drunk off the smell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But we'll give it a go. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh, that actually has a little bit of fruit in there as well. Yeah. It's, which I wasn't expecting. No, I wasn't. Nice bit of. Mmm. It's nice. That. That's one of the, the wines where <clears throat> you have a smell and you think, oh, that's going to taste like that. Then you have a taste and think, yeah, that's exactly what it does taste like. You can say that, but I would think that actually anybody that was new to from wine tasting would smell that and think it was going to taste completely different. Again, I think it's because of the link you have between that means this, typically this, this taste. I think you're right, yeah. But it, was. It, it doesn't taste like it smells. No, no. But I know from having a smell that I know exactly what's going to taste like, and that didn't disappoint. No. Oh. It kind of sticks there as well. Tannin, actually, taste that. The tannins are quite high in there. It's quite a lot of tannins going on, but yeah, I'm not bothered. It kind of it takes it well. Yeah, it's, it's uh, the the balance is there. Mm. That's oh, very yeah. nice. And I think the other thing to say, we, we before we started rolling the can, we had a little sneaky uh, sip and it was quite cold. So we warmed it up a little bit in the palms of our hands and it made an incredible difference, didn't it? No, yeah, the yeah. Taste. And, and, and also the texture, which I was surprised at. It, was, it made it a lot mm. softer. Um, and, yeah, well, <coughs> it do, it do, it, that exactly. You'll have seen us cupping it around, our hands right here, around here and just like giving it a solar. And the, the, the difference was amazing. So we were saying, you know, the difference from just pouring it straight from a bottle to decanting and letting it warm a little is can be quite massive, yeah. especially for something like this. This this deserves uh, to, to be warmed and decanted. Yeah. Mm. And I guess, you know, coming from the North, well, North Spain, but it's, it doesn't get as hot as, as Central Spain but, and the Southern Spain, but I guess, you know, people will drink this in, in temperatures higher than the average UK temperature. So yeah. actually, you know, just leaving the bottle around, it would be a warmer temperature than it would be yeah, in the UK. Well, that would be their room temperature, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah very, very good one, that, John. Thank you. Good. Yeah, no, it's an absolute pleasure. So, uh, again, I'll put the links below where, where you can, I can't, I think I got it from Sainsbury's. Um, okay. And, and the price below. But, um, so score, looking at the old scoreboard. Okay, well... It's a nice Rioja. Oh, well, it's not a true Rioja. It's a nice Tempranillo, I should say. But it's, it's not the nicest I've had. It's also quite a. You know, this is the, it's what I expect from a Rioja. So in that in, in that respect, it's done itself a good job. A, I keep calling it Rioja uh, Tempranillo. In that respect, it's got everything. It's got the nose. It's got the flavour. Nice soft length. Um, so I'd probably stick that with. I won't go wild with it because I. I've tasted as much better tempranillos if you know if you know what I mean. Not that this is bad in any way, shape or form, but I'd probably lean that to eighty-two. Eighty-two. Eighty-two is okay, what I'd say. Not, that's not a bad. That's not a bad. It's thing. not a bad score. Not a bad no. score. But um, I'm guessing also that this is two thousand and fifteen. Was this? Yeah. Um, I used to have a customer um, who um, only liked old rockers, so he, I think he was like ten years. Plus, yeah, and I guess that this is the sort of wine that would would develop into something completely different. If, oh yeah, if you were to you know to have an older one, yeah. And certainly, if you go around the bars in someone like Bilbao, um, yeah, the taste is I I, I can just relax, re re recollect. Excuse me, you didn't say that. Bill. Recollect. Go on. <laughs> Where was that? You were. <laughs> This, this and, and ham and some cheese being served in the wine bars, and it was like, mm. wow, yeah. what a combination, what mm. a combination. Well, as we've said before, it's, 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 it's a diff it's different culture, isn't it, there, there where, you know, the food and drink is so much more... Part to, of their lives, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, and rightly so. Oh, sounds good. So in it? England, what cheese would you recommend with this? Oh, well, when I do my private tastings, and I do recommend this quite a lot, I might have recommended it before, but the best one for this, the best I find is Cave Aged Gruyere. Okay. Stunning. I usually use it at the end, the Rioja is usually at the end of my tasting because it kind of just, a big beast just comes in and takes, you know, because the taste buds are taken hammering, so by the end of it, it needs something to show them who's boss. You just put the Rioja on, and the Cave Aged Gruyere, which again is, you know, the last cheese after tasting uh, five prior cheeses. So the two together, tried and tested, stunning. Like you say, saying, the meat and the cheese thing to take that. Oof. Oof. 
that one, and in, in the interest of not being too too commercial, we've we've not put links in. But actually, on this one, on below, I've just put in a link to uh, John's uh, private tastings. Uh, so if you are interested in uh, partaking of that, uh, you can uh, just follow follow the link. Yes, I forgot you work magic with the computers. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> if you find one, give me a shout. Very popular. Don't know. That's 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 nice. That is really nice. Really nice. Mm. Well, okay. Uh, probably, uh, you know, we say we say all it, it's down to personal taste. So this, you know, if you're just starting the world of red wine, uh, you maybe like white wine, your red wine. This isn't one I think you would recommend people go straight to. Not really. No, no. It's it's delicious. I find it delicious, but it's quite complex and there's lots of intricacies in there. I'm not saying that you're not going to find those not for a minute. I just think it might be just too much for you to take. For most people who are starting off in the red wine um, journey, yeah, I mean, if you if you like red wine, you just instantly lo like it, then then go for this. But if you, a lot of people uh, are talk to sort of on the white wine and they'd like to get into really like to get into red wine, but they can't find one they like to begin. Uh, and what I'm saying in that instance, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go for this one. Um, you know, go for something uh, something else. And we we'll probably do something on that in terms of people that are trying to get into. Uh, uh, red wine and some suggestions that they might uh, might like. In fact, we might get some stooges to uh, some people that are actually just entered doing that journey and uh, okay. and uh, film them trying it and see see if it works in real life. Can people send their videos to us? They can. That they might can. be if, yeah. they, if they've got Dropbox or something like that or, or G Drive, then they can uh, give us a link and we can uh, download. Uh, yeah, and incorporate them. That's a good idea. Yeah. If anyone has any little clips they'd like to share with us, we'd be pleased to uh, share them with uh, the rest of the viewers. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, well, until the next time, we're really looking forward to it already for that next excellent glass of wine. We'll see you there. Chin, chin. Chin, chin. <laughs>